Hey, welcome to the Digital Photography Review. Today I wanted to show you how I like to edit my time lapses, and though there are a ton of different ways, and I actually use a few different ways, this is my favorite method. So I open, this is After Effects, I open up After Effects, and I import my camera raw sequence or JPEG sequence or whatever, just by being in the project panel, right click, import, just like regular. Um, I'm already in this folder where all of my images are. You click the first one and then it automatically detects that it's a camera raw sequence. You click open, then it opens it in camera raw editor and this will edit every photo in the sequence. So I'm just going to click OK and then it, it comes in right here and then you would just drag that into your composition. And that's base that's your time lapse basically. An issue that a lot of time lapses have are or sorry, is flickering. Um, to deal with that, there's a plugin called GBD Flicker. Uh, I think I got it for free from one of my friends, but you can probably find a, a link online to download it. Um, essentially, it just smooths the frames and gets rid of any of that flickering that might have happened at the beginning or end of the frame whenever your shutter was closing. <clears throat> I then graded my uh my image sequence with film convert pro 2 which is a fantastic plugin um that lets you edit video and obviously you can edit photos too um the plugin has an option to be installed in the photoshop as well um it's really great it comes with a bunch of different uh, film presets that have been scanned from high quality film and these color wheels work really fantastically as well so give that a check uh, online if you have never heard of it. It's, it's pretty sweet, especially if you edit video. And then I also stabilized this because there might have been a little bit of shake or something. And Mercalli is the best stabilizer ever. So that's that. I mean, it's really pretty simple. Uh, with raw sequences, obviously, it's going to take a longer amount of time to render this. Um, if you want to actually watch it to see what it looks like before you export it. So I pre-rendered this before I started this video. So, I mean, yeah, that's, that's how you do it in After Effects. It's actually extremely easy. If you wanted to edit your photos in Lightroom, you would just import all your photos into Lightroom like regular uh, edit that, edit one of the photos there, copy the attributes to every photo, and then you could even export them as JPEGs and bring the JPEG image sequence into After Effects or even Premiere Pro to do the time lapse, which will be a lot quicker than using a camera raw sequence. Um, and then you would probably still want to use the GBD Flickr plugin and whatever else if you wanted to, uh, grade it a, a second time but you probably wouldn't do that if you edit it in Lightroom first. Geez, feels like a lot of words. Too many. Um, anyway, that's that's how I edit my time lapses sometimes. If you want to know how to edit time lapses in Lightroom or you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or shoot me an email. And thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, click the link right at the top to subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you want to learn how to make a sunset from nothing, click the thumbnail on the left.